What's up, everybody? It's Prim Decisions here, and I'm coming to you with another episode of For Your Information. Now, there have been a lot of people that have been, again, contacting me over the years, and they state something like, well, I had an attorney, but he didn't do this, or I don't know what's going on, or we never set up a strategy, and different things of that nature. What could I do in order to actually kind of work in the means of getting some of my money back? Because understanding you're not going to get all of it back. But one of the things that you also always need to do when you're dealing with a bar card carrier that was representing your interest in any kind of way is request the attorney that states he's representing you, one, an itemized copy of each and everything he or his firm has filed or completed on your behalf and when it was completed. The reason being, these are the things that'll do, you know, that'll, I guess, cover human nature, which is cover their own ass. But the biggest part is it also lets you know what was, done, what was done or what's in your file or what should be in your file because you're also going to ask for, two, the original filed copies with the file stamps from any motion filed on your behalf, including but not limited to the entry of appearance because every attorney has to file that to represent somebody else's interest. And the assessment from the court that every attorney must file before they represent anyone. The discovery and the discovery file. So everything that's pretty much within your case, they should be able to have access to it. Or you should be able to seek an itemized detailed discovery request. So you'll know, again, where you would need to go if you need to hire someone else. Or actually, if you're bringing it to me, I can actually know what's been done in your case on your behalf and the strategy which will be number three that was employed in this matter and the reason that's important is because that also allows me to understand or even you to understand again when you're bringing someone else in what's been done and what direction you were going to do and always remember any strategy that's discussed you may want to Put it in writing because nothing means anything unless there is a record of it. So keep that in mind. You want to make sure you have an itemized copy of everything. You want to make sure that they have it line by line and precept upon precept for the most part. And also that you have access to the actual file. And remember, written strategy. So this way there is no confusion on what's supposed to be done and what direction you're supposed to be headed, and also how they are advising you in that matter. Because again, not only does it cover you, it covers them. So keep that in mind because it's for your information. Don't forget, support the channel, join the channel, get ready for the masterclass, as well as support the podcast, Supreme Decision Legal Minute Podcast. And don't forget, get the cash app. Supreme, out.